Hi everybody, welcome back once again to the Drunken Bull Ranch. So, uh, before I get started, just want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving, assuming that you celebrate that. Anyway, uh, the uh, chore for right now, as you can see, I actually started taking the greenhouse down and then I went, oh, I was supposed to do a video of this. So, the reason I'm taking the greenhouse down is because we get heavy snow up here, I don't want it to rip. It's already got some damage to it. Uh, some of the bolts actually, as the wind blew, it went back and forth and kind of wore a hole in it. So I'll have to fix that in the spring. But uh, yeah, so I'm just taking down the greenhouse. Um, let me show you this, as you can see, garden's pretty well cleaned up. Um, out here, I have been spreading manure. Let me show you. Ah, I'm doing a terrible job of filming once again. So, in the manure I got some rocks. But, like those right there. But, uh, yeah. So, we're going to try and do about making the garden grow a little better next year with some manure. And uh, give it a little nutrients. Because... As you all know, if you've been following us at all, our soil is lousy, so we're doing what we can to amend it. But, let me uh, get this greenhouse down. It's pretty simple. Uh, basically, it just has some Velcro that you undo. And like I said, I actually got started before I started the video, so here we go. Okay, so it's off. I'm basically just gonna kind of roll it up like you would a tent or something like that. Probably won't look as good, but I'm just gonna roll it up, throw it in the shed so we have it for next year. Okay, so, uh, as you can see, I just threw it in the bucket of the tractor. Now let me show you this. Uh, the uh, area that we had it, um, I'll be honest and say that I quit weeding at some point. And you can see that the weeds grew in pretty good. Uh, these were the last of the tomatoes. They're done. <laughs> but what I'm going to do 
uh, leave the frame up. Um, the snow's not going to hurt the frame any. And uh, then come spring, we'll get it cleaned out and go from there. So, yeah, that's about the size of it on that one. But I have several other projects that I'm working on today. So we'll get this taken care of and move on. Okay, everybody. So I moved on to other projects. Um, now I don't know if you guys have watched my previous videos, but if you look, I now have all of the equipment and the trailers and the pallets stacked up over there. Everything's out of the way. So this area is all cleared up. I still got some work to do on this area. Um, but you can also see that I moved all of the pig feed over here. Got all of this stuff out of the way. So it's a whole lot more accessible in here. Uh, I've got some projects I wanted to do that this stuff was just in the way. So uh, one of which is that I gotta fix this back wall on the pig pen because they destroyed it before I put the pallets in there. And I wanted to be able to get in here and put some some uh, wood chips or something down because these guys are just wallowing in the mud. Anyway, so yeah, now I have access to do that. And uh, as just a little update, these guys are still in the mud too, but the little pig shelter held up. They did not destroy it as of yet. So, as always, support your local farmers. Have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll talk at you later. Bye.